given question for four stroke gas engine bore diameter 20 cm stroke 30 cm speed 300 rpm air fuel ratio 4 is to 1 by volume volumetric efficiency 80 percent calorific value of gas 8 mega joule per meter cube brake thermal efficiency 25 percent determine the volume of gas used per minute and the brake power of the engine let us understand given data this is four stroke engine and bore diameter is given 20 centimeter so we will give the notation small d and we will convert this into standard unit meter and that is equal to 0.2 meter then stroke length that is capital l is equal to 30 centimeter that is 0.3 meter then speed is given in revolution per minute per cycle so speed that is capital n is equal to 300 rpm per cycle then air fuel ratio so it is 4 by 1 by volume so we can say that volume of air divided by volume of fuel is equal to 4 by 1 volumetric efficiency so this is nita v so notation is nita v it is 80 percent that is 80 by 100 and which is equal to 0 0.8 then calorific value of gas so calorific value that is cv so its a notation is cv 8 mega joule per meter cube brake thermal efficiency that is nita bth so it is 25 percent that is 25 by 100 which is equal to 0 0.25 and we have to find out volume of gas used per minute as well as brake power of the engine. Now if we observe the given data then volume of air divided by volume of fuel which is equal to 4 by 1. So we have to find out volume of gas. So here fuel that means gas. So gas is used as a fuel. So we will first find out the volume of air. So how to find out the volume of air used per minute. Now we will first find out the number of cycles per minute. So here speed is given 300 revolution per minute per cycle. So for the one cycle it is 300 rpm and for the four stroke engine we know that there are two complete revolutions to complete the cycle so here number of cycles per minute that is small n is equal to capital n by 2 so we have to always take the value of small n is equal to capital n by 2 for the four stroke engine and we have to take small n is equal to capital n is for the two stroke engine so this data we have to remember for the calculation so number of cycles per minute that means small n is equal to capital N by 2 and which is equal to 300 by 2 which is equal to 150. So value of small n is equal to 150. Now how to calculate volume of air used per minute? So we have formula volumetric efficiency. So volumetric efficiency is nita V. Then multiplied by displacement volume per cycle. So this is the we can simply say displacement volume displacement volume per cycle multiplied by number of cycles per minute so number of cycles per minute is notation is small n so this is the formula to calculate the volume of air used per minute now nita v value is mentioned in the question value of small n so small n is 150 we have calculated now what is this displacement volume so it is related to the piston cylinder arrangement so displacement that means when the piston moves from top dead center to the bottom dead center inside the cylinder then the volume covered is known as displacement volume so the diameter of the cylinder bore cylinder bore diameter is given 0.2 meter and when it 
moves from top dead center to the bottom dead center then that length is known as the stroke length l and that is equal to 0.3 meter so displacement volume is pi by 4 the d square l so d is 0.2 square l is 0.3 so we will calculate so it is 1.13 and unit is meter cube per minute now we will follow the unit so volumetric efficiency so efficiency don't have any unit now what about the displacement volume per, per cycle so if we observe here is d square that is meter square into meter that is meter cube and 150 so 150 is having unit rpm per cycle that is revolution per minute so i will write here revolution divided by per minute and per cycle so i will write here one by cycle so if we observe this revolution that means cycle cycle getting cancelled and unit is meter cube per minute so we have to give the same unit now we will move to the next now we have to find out volume of gas used so volume of air used it is calculated so we have air fuel ratio by volume so volume of air divided by volume of fuel is equal to 4 is to 1 so volume of air is 1.13 and unit is meter cube per minute divided by volume of fuel fuel is gas so volume of gas is equal to 4 is to 1 so there is cross multiplication and volume of gas used is equal to 0 0.2825 meter cube per minute so this is the answer of first question so same unit we have to mention here meter cube per minute. We will calculate energy released by combustion of fuel and that is known as input energy. So this input energy is equal to volume of fuel used per minute multiplied by calorific value of the fuel. So volume of fuel that is volume of gas used we have calculated and that is equal to 0.2825. And what is it's a unit it's a unit was meter cube per minute so I will mention here meter cube per minute and this calorific value is 8 mega joule per meter cube so I will write here mega joule per meter cube so when we calculate this we will get 2.26 and this meter cube meter cube is getting cancelled unit is mega joule per minute so this is the input energy now break thermal efficiency is given so this break thermal efficiency is known as output power by input power so break thermal efficiency 0 0.25 which is equal to output power divided by input power is 2.26 and therefore output power is known as break power so output power is equal to break power is equal to 0 0.25 into 2.26 that is 0 0.565 and what is the unit so it is mega joule per minute so we have to give the same unit now we will convert this uh, mega joule per minute into kilowatt so how to convert this so we know that kilojoule per second is known as kilowatt so this mega joule we will convert it into kilojoule so this mega joule how to convert it into 10 raised to 3 and this minute we will convert into seconds so in one minute there are 60 seconds so divided by 60 so it will become kilojoule per second kilojoule per second and kilojoule per second is known as kilowatt and the calculation answer is 9.41 so answer second answer is Break power is equal to 9.41 kilowatt.